Hey. Mm. You gotta, we gotta Sorry. prep this thing. He's gonna be here in like five minutes. Yeah, uh, Patty, five minutes. We got four hours. Okay, no, I, maybe, maybe. Except he's got a plane in at two, so oh, he might nice. actually be trying. He might actually be trying. Oh, we gotta pull those <laughs> brake lines out. I won't do it. All right, we will be back on the motor. As you, as you could tell, we are going to Scotch Bright. This bare naked frame right here for, for just uh just a little bit so we can hit it with steel it good old steel it how do you feel about steel it um it's a pre-sparkled subaru oil so save the subarus yeah <laughs> we have everything prepped ready to go we need to paint it with that steel it trash kind of see we started so gonna go with black I think that is the way to go protect everything you can really spray up in these crevices here so that nothing's exposed and nothing oxidizes down the road and it's better than it ever was so that's kind of what we're going for all right we are using this stuff right here stainless steel in a can from steal it I believe that is what they actually put in this can because it looks like Subaru oil when we open it, I'll pop it open here in a sec. But it does go down nice and it's weldable. And uh, when we have to come back later and fix some things like that or you know, some of these rivet placements, the exhaust mounts might need to be changed. Uh, it'll be nice to grind down the welds and then just add another layer of this and it's all the same again. So that's a huge plus here. You take the steel it in those kind of cans. They do have aerosol cans too. Pop it in a gun, give it a spray, and she's on there. So yeah, let's get the rest of this sprayed up. We have half of it painted, coated I should say. It's not technically paint, but the other half not. It's looking pretty good. Good in black, just how we like them. Patchy. Patchy in black. Patchy in black. Hey, it's it needs another good. coat and it's just it's just drying, okay? Stop, yeah, 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 yeah. get out of here. Now I'm not totally sure if this gun I have is proper enough because it does seem to be clogging up the gun because there are metal flakes in it so I could be having an easier time spraying but it is what it is and honestly on these little boys it's perfect so and that's what a majority of it is it just I'm not gonna switch guns up to finish the firewall it's, it's just gonna have to work but it's coming out nice 
I actually like this finish without anything else on it. So we'll see if we keep it like this or clear coat it or do something else. Once we get her painted, should be ready to start fitting up the block with the manifold. So that's kind of the most important thing here. Probably leave it like this while we move in and out. Cause if you hit something, it's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, I enjoy this stuff. So if we do hit it and buzz it down, we can just recoat that little area and it should look the same. I might clear coat, clear coat would suck, so. Like that we have a space frame that's black a little spotty you're gonna have to give it a, a final coat but it does look good so it's a very sensible product we can grind and fix some welds and come back and not have to worry about repainting everything and it's not going to corrode right now so it makes me feel good about everything so I think we're going to end all this nonsense there or catch up tomorrow. Probably one or the other. We'll have to figure that out in the next two seconds. He is the boss.